live. I think we're live. Hey, y'all. We're live now. Already. Hey, everybody. It's Peter from Indigo River Tiny Homes. And we're here getting ready to walk through our newest house that we just completed. It's going to be delivered next week. And it is a 28-foot long Rambler Deluxe. Let's go take a walk around the outside first. We'll go check out the inside. We don't... I don't know if we have any people watching. Hope it's working. Hope it's working too. I think it's recording anyway. All right. Uh, first off, all of our houses have come standard with an outdoor storage shed on the tournament end. We've got office storage space with shelves and stuff in the middle. We even have a customer uh, storing a seven foot kayak in there. Yay, Joseph is watching. Hey, Joseph. And look, uh, Denise, look where he put the handle. I put it down low. He's, I'm sorry about your handle. He, he's got to come back and move her handle. Uh, the outdoor air conditioning is a uh, Mr. Cool uh, 18,000 BTU heat pump and air, air conditioner. Sorry for the noise. We got the generator running over here, so we have the lights on inside. But there's a storage shed here as well. It's pretty neat. I'm going to take a look. Inside, we got a nice big storage shed. We call this shed then a couple bicycles in there whatever you need to store. somebody says they don't have audio so uh -oh. let's go around I don't know let's go around and see if it's better once oh wait were we gonna go the, this way let's just walk around this side all right so let us know if you can hear us sorry we're getting away from the gen generator now Okay, somebody, Savannah has audio, so yes, okay. somebody can hear us. <laughs> uh, this end, we've got a sliding patio door. This is a secondary door to them. for them. It's going to be kind of like their back door. When, once it gets in place, uh, they're going to build a deck out here. And then the main entry, and it's got you know, a covered, nice covered area with some lights up there. And then the main entry here is on the side. Of the house swing door, we've got an exterior outlet, outside light there. Got. Let's take a look at this kitchen before I get all the way in. Yeah. I showed this to the homeowners earlier. We'll have that video posted on Face 2. Face 2? YouTube. Later. So you can see the reaction when they see the house. So this is the Rambler floor plan. Rambler, Rambler Rose floor plan, but with the, with the deluxe, which means it has the wraparound landing up top. Right now we're standing in the living area, um, so we've got the living area, we've got the, the you okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> got the kitchen here, uh, the living area fits a full-size sofa, they'll have a TV mounted on the wall there, um, going to get a shot of the ceiling fan, it's got a pretty cool ceiling fan in here. And we like the ceiling. Yeah, the ceiling boards. Have a little more texture than normal. Mm -hmm. It's turned out really nice. I'll go on in the bathroom while I'm here. Full size tub, soaking tub, and we've got the washing machine so y'all can see all in one how it fits. And then there's space for your hamper and more storage over there. And then there, let's see, we got cabinets, yep. got your linen cabinet there. It's got the vanity mirror with the medicine cabinet, and plus a little shelf, and the faucet here. So we have nice big drawers too for the... Oh underneath. yeah, floating vanity. Mm -hmm. Or no, it's got the wheel well under there. Uh, I think they had the, they covered the plumbing there. Ah. In the kitchen, let's start with the bridge, or you want to come past the wall. Probably get a better shot looking this way. Got the apartment size fridge, which is a pretty good size. Do you want to take a look inside? This one we did a microwave over the over the range microwave, and it vents on the outside, so it actually exhausts the air. It's not just recirculating. Got a two burner cooktop, full size oven, big enough to cook a Turkey, and this one actually has the rotisserie function. You could cook a rotisserie chicken in there. 
drawer underneath the oven. Got the kitchen cabinets underneath the sink. With the toe kick drawers that pop out. That thing is really a really nice new feature. We used to have them where you had to like stick your finger in there and pull them out, and they're kind of hard, but these pop out, which is like, I love. I think it's <laughs> pretty cool. Some, some nice big drawers for storage there. And then, of course, the storage staircase. Yep, the storage staircase here. You don't have to open them all, it's okay. Yeah, we have the drawers and cabinets. <laughs> It's the same number. It's the same number of and then the cat drawers and all that. There, head there. Uh, you know, put it's a nice place to put plants. She's gonna put books. She said. Yeah, she's gonna have a lot. She said she has a lot of books. She's gonna keep there. A little drop down table here. Um, can be a workstation or a little eat at bar. And then one of the things we always put in our storage stairs is. Little place to kick your shoes off before you go upstairs. We did do the handrail on the outside, solid wood and staying the same colors as the countertops. Stair tread. So we've got the pull out step. So we got this up here. So when the mattress is on here, you know it's going to be about a foot higher than it is now. Which you know, right now it's just under hip height, but when you get the mattress on there, it makes it difficult to get in and out of bed. So do something to stand up on help you get in out of bed so we have a question diane's asking have we ever done a catwalk that opens into each loft for pets and we have yes we have totally there one house that it like kind of there there was like an opening mm -hmm. and then another house that was just open to the yeah we're we're doing and we actually have one on order where we're going to make it like a tunnel because they want their dog to be able to go back and forth and so there's actually going to be more of a tunnel where the catwalk is. I'm kind of excited about that one. I think it'd be fun. A neat little feature. Oh, and up here on the like, up on the landing, we've got a window seat here next to the window. And this is on the trailer hitch end. A lot of times we'll put the window behind the the uh, window seat, but because this is the trip, this lock is on the trailer hitch end, we couldn't do that. But a big storage um, bin there. It's like a got, toy box. Then we've got the wardrobes here, double wardrobes with doors and drawers for hanging in, in lots of space for folded clothes. So this is what makes it deluxe Big. is that it has this extra wraparound landing. Right, yeah, so you can actually access the bed from two sides and then you also get a lot more storage space for your clothing. It creates more, much more closet space and this fits a queen size bed. Then we've got the shelf over the head of the bed. You can put your phone there and your books there at night. Got some plugs. Yeah, I'm plugged there. And put lots of outlets everywhere. Oh, and then one thing I like about this little window seat, it's got a, a light for the little reading nook. Right on. Should Anybody read? else have any questions? It's a pretty simple one. Rambler. Uh, simple yet elegant. Rambler just means one loft mm -hmm. um the rambler floor plan and then the deluxe part is that it's got that wraparound landing we hope can... to see you and if we don't see you we'll talk to you if we don't talk to you y'all take care we love you bye oh the one's watching hey, hey <laughs> just in time for the end you can watch the replay all right thanks for watching y'all bye